we're still here at Slush Finner Stand, and now we're looking into facial recognition. I have here uh, Karim Al Sufi from Finner and Tupac Duman from Futurist. Um, what is this demo about? Yeah, uh, face recognition has always been associated with security and uh, biometrics and surveillance. What we are trying to do here is with Finner to show how we can use it to enhance the customer experience. And this is just one example of how that could be done. So uh, what we have here, um, customers or the Finner stand visitors register themselves uh, with the app that we developed for this purpose. And they go uh, in front of the screen and they get uh, specific information tailored to them. So this is just an example how this could be applied in the future to personalize and enhance the customer experience. Karin, we tested this uh, technology at Helsinki Airport last spring. Uh, how did the customers uh, feel about it? Yeah, we had a pilot run in uh, May this year at the Helsinki Airport where we invited uh, premium and so platinum members and gold members from Finna Plus to join the trial at the priority check-in. And uh, our customers were very excited to join that trial. Um, there was quite often a lot of people to, to try it out. And they especially liked it because it was give, taking them some pain away because they don't need to look for their boarding pass and items. But it was much more smoother travel experience than going to a normal uh, gate and take your papers out because your customer is already identified once you are at the gate, basically, or at the, at the check-in gate, so it's much easier. We're also uh, having the uh, slush participants tested here. Uh, there seems to be a constant line. Uh, what was the reaction from the participants. Uh, we've gotten some uh, great feedback. Uh, people like the fact that information is proactively given to them. They don't need to seek for it. Once they step in front of the camera, they get the information that they need and they like the idea and we already get questions like when this is going to be a thing at the, at the airport, when we are going to actually use this. So what is the future then, Karim? So I think as the trial was quite positive, we are still continuing with it. So based on the feedback that we got, we got some learnings on how do we deal with glasses, for example, with camera position. But main thing is now to see how do we embed it into the entire process so that it's not just one thing you do at the uh, check-in area, but then need to have again a boarding pass somewhere else. So it needs to go through the entire process at the airport. Uh, this could be at the boarding area, at the lounge, uh, at the security. So it involves a lot of different uh, stakeholders in it. And of course, we are in quite a high security area, so it needs to be really working, compliant with the rules. So this is not something we will see tomorrow, but certainly we will see it in the coming years, coming out in one solution that covers all this kind of different stakeholders and processes. Thank you. Okay.